Hi, I'm Sasha Solette and you're watching the weekly Jump Off TV newscast. In the early hours of Wednesday morning, gunshots were fired at Tony Yayo's mother's house in Queens, New York. The shooting comes three weeks after Tony Yayo, real name Marvin Bernard, was released on $5,000 bail for charges of attacking Jimmy Henchman's 14-year-old son. Marvin Bernard's mother, sister and two-year-old niece were all in the house at the time of the shooting, but luckily, no one was injured. Also this week, G-Unit member Spider Locke experienced what appears to be a drive-by shooting during the filming of his Blutiful Day video shoots. Nobody, it was bullshit. It was like some little shit that happened to happen real close up on the shit because some niggas that knew each other didn't like each other. Controversy surrounds Akon as a video surfaced last week of him dry humping 14 year old local Dina Elaine on stage at his concert in Port of Spain, Trinidad. This story may have seemed blown out of proportion, but the video clearly shows Akon aggressively handling the 14 year old like a sexed, crazed lunatic. He seems to uncharacteristically trip out and behaves as if no one is watching. Here's a clip. And remember, it's not two live crew or R. Kelly. Ah! <laughs> Dina, daughter of Pastor Dave Elaine of Trinidad, was reportedly dragged on stage by Akon Security to partake in this grinding competition. The prize, a trip to Africa, was apparently never awarded, though Dina did win some new bruises and stage burns. Akon, real name Aluan de Malabukitimi Pudunaka Lululu Badada Akon Tiam, believes in polygamy and has three wives. He continues his tour as Trinidad law officials consider pressing charges. In a federal trial in New York, Prosecutors have seemingly bundled the shooting of Jam Master Jay with another unsolved case on 45-year-old Ronald Tennant Washington. Court papers claim that Washington provided cover as his accomplice shot Jam Master Jay in the head at his New York studio in October 2002. Prosecutors also hold Washington as a suspect in the fatal shooting of Tupac associate Randy Stretch Walker in 1995. Washington and Jam Master Jay were apparently childhood friends and, while Washington admits to being in the studios on the day, he denies the accusations. Just one week after the Don Imus nappy-headed hose comments turned into a war on demeaning women in rap lyrics, the debate is getting heated. New York's Power 105.1 radio station announced that they would no longer be playing songs with degrading images saying, we're holding labels and artists accountable for what they say. The aftermath continued with a town hall meeting on The Oprah Show where guests Common, Russell Simmons, Kevin Lars and Dr. Benjamin Chavis discussed the sexual exploitation of women in hip-hop. Not only to acknowledge the problem, but take responsibility for the problem. Be accountable for the problem. So you all are going to admit there is a problem. You're going to admit there is a problem. On three, we should say that there's a problem. One, two, three, there's a problem. There's a problem. There's a problem. Yeah. In other news, on Sunday, Cameron appeared on the CBS 60 Minutes show about snitching. He claimed he was so against police that he would rather move house than snitch on a serial killer living next door. Snoop Dogg is selling his $2 million eight-bedroom California estate doghouse, featuring home studio, theatre, pool and basketball court, where he's lived since 1994. The Fresh Prince, Will Smith, has announced plans to reunite with Jazzy Jeff, both in the studio and on tour later this year. Former Rockefeller mogul Damon Dash is taking his accountant to court, filing a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the bookkeeper to the stars. Biggie's family have filed a second wrongful death lawsuit against the city of Los Angeles for general, compensatory and punitive damages. After he initiated the hearing, 50 Cent was ordered to pay $15,000 a month in child support payments to Shaniqua Tompkins, the mother of his 10-year-old son. And finally, Jin has put a track on his gin space dedicated to the tragic Virginia Tech shootings on Monday, titled Rain, Rain, Go Away. I did a song um, that I recorded on the exact same day, like that evening uh, on April 16th. It's called Rain, Rain, Go Away. And um, honestly, like, 
I wanted to record it that day on purpose because I wanted to capture how I personally felt, like my initial reaction. And um, I think really one word to just describe it is just like a sadness. I hold that very close to my heart. As far as just being a genuine dude that definitely would never be like, wow, this just happened. This is a good opportunity for me to, you know, put something out there and whatever, you know what I'm saying? So. You can keep up to date daily with all the news and gossip on jumpoff.tv. Please leave comments below or on slash newscast. Remember, if you have comments just for me, go to jumpoff.tv forward slash Sasha. Oh, and mash out posse, thank you for your comment. We'll be sure to read that out in three weeks' time. I'm Sasha Solette, and thank you for watching this week's newscast. <laughs> Demeaning women in... Discuss the sexual ex exploitation of women in hip hop. <laughs> Is that you getting ready to go? Is... <sighs> Rockefeller mogul. No. Oh, Rockefeller. Why do I keep on doing that? Cool. His 10 year old son. <laughs> 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 no,